Hello, YouTube. Um, right now it is dark out, and this seems like a strange time to shoot this video, but it's going to be raining all week. So, I figured this would be a good time to make a video of how to make the a very simple solar powered generator. Okay, let's get started. First, you'll need a solar panel like the one I demonstrated in my solar panel review. This one was made by Brunton. Or Brunton, I think. Um, and I have it screwed to a piece of wood. You don't really have to have it like that. I just thought it would be a little bit more handy. Um, it's 1.8 watts, 12 volts. Again, this is pretty simple. I think this was $20. But it's, I bet you could find one for like 10 bucks on eBay because they don't make my model anymore. Um, and it comes with some alligator clips that lock onto the little thing I demonstrated the last time. But then I found that this sort of cooler thing. I found this uh, rubber made um, cooler. I drilled some holes in it. So it could cool. These small ones are for cooling. These are for the wires. I used a hole saw to drill the big one and just some drill bits to drill the little ones. Okay, and then you'll need a um, sealed lead acid 12 volt 10 amp hour battery. Um, so in the, your battery box or cooler, whatever you want, you just stick in the battery however you want, like like so. So the battery's inside. It's inside the box. Um. So I'll keep it open at the moment. Um. And then you take your alligator clips. Oh, but first, you're going to need a digital multimeter, like so, to see how full the battery is right now. Um, you can add a charge controller, but for right now, this is just a video to help get people into the green age. So black to black, and red to red. This battery is 12.43 volts. Um, it's it needs some charging. Like I charged that maybe a month ago at, and it went to 12. Point, I think it was 12.60. So again, it lost its um, charge, and that's very common with batteries. So let's go ahead and connect this little loop. And but if the battery is now if you're buying it used or brand new, if you're buying it used, watch out, make sure you do some research on the person, call them up, um, because sometimes the batteries won't work at all. But if you're buying a new one, then I don't think you have much to worry about. And so, let me hook up negative to negative, and positive to positive. Okay, so they're connected. You can shut the light. And let me bring the solar panel into the light. So my diode right here is flashing, that little blue light, that means I'm getting solar energy. So that means I'm charging a battery with solar power. Um, now to add on to the system that I've just showed you, um, you can buy much powerful solar panels or um, just a bunch of those little ones. 
like I would recommend oops, um, the 45 watt solar panel kit at harborfreight.com. It includes everything you need except the battery. It includes the regulator and stuff. I'm going to be buying that pretty soon. But um, you definitely need more of these batteries. And um, I'm running a 12 volt system. So um, I'm probably going to have to get another one of these 10 amp hour batteries. And they have to be the same amp hours or amps. Again, this one's 10, so I found one for like, yeah, 10 amp hours, 10.5 amp hours, so good enough. So you'd get another one of these batteries, hook it up positive to positive, negative to negative on one side, so you'd be left with one positive and one negative, and that would give you 20 amp hours, so you'd get more get more time to use, so that's more efficient. Um, you can buy a charge controller. I would recommend the Xantrek C40 for 35. Um, the Xantreks are the good kind, but if you're looking for something, for something just for, you know, running a small TV or something, or just charging up batteries, I would get like this. It's very inexpensive charge controller um, by Brunton, like the solar panel manufacturer. It's called the solar controller, so that'd be a good thing to charge it up. So, but one of the most important things you do while making the system is one, not to spend too much money. I think, well, I got the battery for free for my very generous Uncle Mike. I got the cooler for free. Well, it wasn't free, but my parents gave it to me after I left a bunch of fish, dead fish in there. I thought I was going to eat them, but I didn't. So, um, oh wow. It actually charged, <laughs> it actually charged one hundredth of a volt. Who would have guessed? Um, oh, which is, and again, make sure your solar panel works, because you don't want to use it and then find out that it's bad solar panels, so, this is on artificial light, so let's just see how much it pulls in. Then about, I think it was 13 volts, around 13 volts, open current, so it's working. So you know, I'll come back for more videos once I upgrade my small system. And I hope this video inspired some of the people to build a system like this or very close to this or just to get into the green age.